Hanukkah has to be the best Jewish holiday, or at least the one with the best food. We are talking about everything fried. Latkes are the best, sufka niyot, aka donuts, and so much more. Here are eight must-eat Hanukkah specials for each night of Hanukkah. Let me tell you why. Masiba was one of my favorite meals of 2023, and for a Hanukkah, they have an array of latke toppings you can choose from, all on this latke made of potato, sweet potato, and Jerusalem artichoke. All right, so you have your choice here of how you want your latke. Me personally, I feel like mostly I'm a classic, give me applesauce and give me sour cream kind of guy, and you could have that. But we also have a lot of other things here, a lot of accoutrement, so do whatever you want with it. All right, let's try one on its own. Texture-wise, it's exactly what you expect and want. Really crispy, really creamy. There's maybe like a little bit more, maybe a little tiny sweetness, a little more earthiness going on in this one. I'm very happy. Mmm. Let's go applesauce and cream fresh first. That applesauce is fantastic. Mm, really nice spices going on there. Apple flavor coming through. Good sort of like thick texture. Not chunky, not super light. Some kind of in the middle. Totally works. All right, let's go with this smoked salmon situation. That is a classic combo. Always works. Love that saltiness of the smoked salmon. Mm. And just like melts and rips in that bite. Mm. All right, so these are like this tar thing here, little tomato. Ooh. And that has labna also. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But those are tar spices. Mm. Really, really nice. That little tiny, like, little pop of little sweetness on that tomato. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right. We're sort of, like, been building our way up into fancier and fancier. And now we got the caviar. It's gonna be good. It's a classic combo. Very, very good. But, you know, there's a lot of flavor going on. But mm. my favorite, like I said, I am a classic kind of guy. But I like that Zatar. That was fantastic. Feeling extra, extra fancy? Uh, head to Caviar Roos, the Michelin star restaurant that is the place for caviar, and get this $95 pre order only giant caviar laka, which has layers of creme fraiche, egg jam, and their incredible Ocetra caviar. Let's make this into like a bite I could eat here. You're getting that super, super crunchiness. But then, mm, that layer of fat from the openness like envelops your mouth real nicely, and then the pop of that just amazing caviar. Mmm, the caviar too almost adds just like <laughs> butteriness and a bite. Mmm. Over and over and over. My absolute favorite Edith Sandwich Counter has a special collab with Peter Pan Donuts. That's a swirly schnecken uh, coated with sugar and sumac and stuffed with the strawberry sumac jam. There's such a nice balance of like the butteriness you're gonna get, but then that's like real fruit flavor coming through of like not overly sweet. It's like real strawberry flavor coming through and like a little bit of like, maybe like tanginess, a little bit of like, sitting here and they're like a little bit more of a complex bite if it had just been straight on strawberry jam. Mmm! And of course, Edis has per usual their incredible tatkas. That's latkas made into tots. Uh, so addicting. And you can even get them party sized with all the sauces. Oh, oh my God, the smell coming off of this is insane. And tatkas, my favorite thing in the whole world. Mmm, they're so crispy. It's dangerous how many of these I could eat. Mm. Mm. The best bread's bakery, of course, has their classic array of uh, sufka niyot. I mean, look at these beauties. Uh, this year, a strawberry. Mmm. Vanilla. Tiramisu. And chocolate. 
every one of them just so buttery, so nice. I love that they had just like a little tiny things on top and just like not only luxury flavor, but like a little crunch to them too. Out of the four, which one was my favorite? It's funny, normally I would always say like, oh, I'm probably like a chocolate or tiramisu kind of person, like in general. But out of those, I really like the vanilla, but it might just be classic that strawberry jam, like a nice balance of getting that sort of fruitiness with the sweetness in there too. Those are excellent, not shocking since breads is, breads is the best. And latkes are back as well, uh, served with sour cream and their house-made applesauce. Mmm, really simple, really crispy. A very like thin shredded potato pancake latke. I always like a little bit more meat of mine. The flavor in these are really, really nice. And the applesauce is fantastic. Mmm. I can say it's on my preference, but it's just so good. Mmm. 12 Chairs is in the weekly rotation of Meals for Me. Their entire Israeli menu is so fantastic and their latkes might just be my favorite. You can get them on their own with lox or sweet potato. All right, so we got three varieties here. Well, two varieties. One normal, which you can eat just normal. One normal with some smoked salmon and some sweet potato, which I love. 12 Chairs, they don't have applesauce. That's their big thing. They told me. <laughs> So in Israel, they don't do applesauce, they don't do applesauce here. Fair. Mm. Mm. I think in terms of like preference for laka, I really love these. Because, I mean, you could say this about all lakas, ideally if they're the way they're supposed to be, super crispy and creamy on the middle. These are much thicker. I prefer thicker, where it's just a nice crisp on the outside. But in that real, creaminess of the potato, eggs and onion coming together, like what? A, a bite, a bite. Bite, crisp, and chew. Mm. Let's go with all smoked salmon. Mm. That's a combo we know works. Mm. A nice little pop of saltiness from the capers and the smoked salmon, a little fishiness, melting in mouth smoked salmon box. Mm. Let's go sweet potato. Mm, 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 mm. With the sweet potato, you're losing a little bit of the crispiness, but I love sweet potato, so I'm not gonna complain. Mm. Honestly, kind of like the OG. Mm. Give me the OG and I'm happy. Well, I'm talking about. Even everyone's favorite steakhouse, Hawksmoor, is getting in on the fun with this special collab donut they did with Chef Zoe Kanan. They fry this ribbon donut in beef tallow. Oh my god. And when it comes out, it gets piped with a vanilla applesauce, glazed in a brandy salty cider caramel, topped with a buckwheat praline, dusted to freaking gold, and it comes with a special custard for dipping or pouring. This thing. That looks, the smell, oh my God. All right, pour the sauce on there. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> Gotta eat it quickly. Mmm. I feel like a lot of flavor is me at once. Mmm, it's really soft. Melt in your mouth. Super buttery. Really like this like richness coming through with the sweetness. Mmm. And the apple brandy caramel is not hiding the brandy. You taste it. Mmm. It's such a unique like balance of like almost leans more savory, which I like of just like the butter and the richness with that sweetness coming through. And then the gold, obviously, you know, adds, adds everything. Mm. Reunion in Williamsburg is serving both lakas. Uh, these served with some labada and roe. Mm. Those taste like the elevated ones you would make at home, which I think is like the best compliment you can give for a laka and their own soup guignot, which they have with both a pistachio glaze and a tahini glaze. 
It has a very like munchkin texture to it. A little crunchy, really soft on the inside. You do put pistachio glaze on everything. Eli's Market has a ton of Hanukkah treats and you can even ship them nationwide. I'm talking matzo ball soup, jelly donuts. It has a real nice mm. brioche chew to it. Really like that. Mm. Latkes. Latkes are just the best. They're applesauce, it's killer. Damn. Mm. And then, mm. oh my God, it's a challah made in the shape of a menorah. Hey. <laughs> well, I think let's just take a big old bite out of it. Mmm, and it doesn't change the flavor. The challah's the best. So what's your favorite Hanukkah food? Let me know in the comments below. We've made it this far, so it would be great because I go on food adventures all over the world. And here are a few other spots I think you'd love.